second, Tampa, Florida, Cornelius Bosa Edwards and John Montez are in the ring. Let's go to Mark Vero. Ladies and gentlemen, Alessi Promotions presents main event, 10 rounds, lightweights. Your referee for this event from Tampa, Florida, Max Parker Jr. Introducing first, in the corner to my left, wearing the blue trunks with white trim, he weighs 135 pounds from Los Angeles, California. His professional record, 29 wins, two defeats, 22 knockouts, John Montes Jr. Montes Jr. His opponent, Wearing the white trunks with black trim, he weighs 135 and three quarter pounds from Las Vegas, Nevada. His pro record, 43 wins, five defeats with 34 knockouts, Cornelius Bolza. Cornelius Bosa Edwards, big favorite Lightweight. here in Tampa. Referee Max Parker Jr. bringing Bosa Edwards and Montez together. The three night out rule is in effect. In case there's a knockdown, the box is standing directly to me by for the, to the first neutral corner. The main there until I tell you to come out. You both understand that? And the clinch let you fight the fight unless you're not throwing the punches. I hold it, okay? And I give the command to break, okay? You break by not throwing the punches and taking a step back, okay? For taking step all times, come out, come out, box and sign the bell. All right, as Max mentioned, three knockdown rule in effect. Three knockdowns in one round. The fight is over. There is a mandatory eight. No standing eight. The bell does not save the fighter except in the final round. And scoring on the ten-point must system handled by the two judges and the referee. The judges, Darrell Brown and Pete Valiente. Cornelius Moose Edwards out of Uganda, now living in Las Vegas. He's been training here in Tampa. At times has been a slow starter, but since the shift up to the lightweight division that has not been the case he has had the knockout power early John Montez 23 years old will be 24 next Friday out of Los Angeles record of 29 and 2 22 by knockout his last fight this past April he knocked out Tomas Chavez in the fourth round in LA and 30 since the losses to Hilmer Kenty and Macho Camacho, he's won his last seven, five of the seven by knockout. He's a fine boxer, a fine fighter. He's got a hard punch, as we know, by his knockout record. The loss to Hel Helmer Kinty was no disgrace. It was a very close fight all the way. Some people thought he won, but against um, Camacho, it was a definitive one-round knockout. It was an uppercut by Hector Camacho that did it. Ironically, at the time, Montez was training for Cornelius Boza Edwards, and then those plans ball, fell through. Right. Well, now he gets to see how he would have done against Cornelius Boza Edwards. Both men in a good streak going. Boza getting a right hand in. Cause Montez to blink. Watch your Got head. it right. right on the Good eye, back. and he blinked yeah, hard. Right. Okay. Boza says, watch the head. Right off the bat, you see that uh, Montez is not having too much difficulty solving the left-hand style of Boza. Both men known to get hit, and both men are hitters. Getting their feet tangled up as Montez gets in close. And Montez doubling up on the left hand. Cornelius Boza Edwards, at one time the WBC junior lightweight champion. He is now ranked number five by the WBC among lightweights. Let him go, John. Let him go. Under a minute to go in round one. It's scheduled for ten. combination by Montez. Montez showing angles, coming from all angles to Boza. Boza just coming in with power. Boza never been known for a defensive style. He caught everything in the last four or five fights, has begun to do a little defensive work. And again gets the left hand in. Good action. 
action. First round as we come up on 15 seconds left of this opening round. That'll do it for round one. We'll be back after these words. The champions presented by Old Spice after shave and cologne. There weren't a lot of people in the world uh, who thought I was going to beat the great Sugar Ray Robinson. I felt that I'd worked hard and that I'd studied well and that I had everything in order and I felt within myself that I could do it. Anytime anything works out the way you plan, it's got to be great and this worked out uh, every bit as good as we'd planned and uh, I had the middleweight championship. So it was a great thrill. All you got to do is smell the morning, flash on old spice. Nobody sends more guys out there alive and awake than unmistakably masculine Old Spice. Now you're moving, don't think twice. Flash off the feeling, flash off the spice. And here's John Montez, uh, ready. Cornelius Bose Edwards taking all the uh, rest time possible on his stool. And this is round number two. John Montez arrived here in Tampa, somewhat of a foul mood. His flight from Los Angeles last Wednesday was on time, but his, his luggage ended up in Orlando. He did catch up with his belongings the following day. Would make you a little bit testy. Again, the left hand of Montez. And trading very hard punches here. First round was fairly even. This round, they're both throwing very hard punches. And as you mentioned earlier, what has been so unusual about Boza Edwards is that he's been able to move up in weight and continue the impressive knockout record. He still has the hard punch. And he carried his punch with him and he got bigger. Right now, watch as these two guys come very close together. Bose is stepping on his toes, stepping on Montez's toes. As their boots get together, their one or the other ends up on top of his foot. Could be a point later on as he tries to move away from the pu punch and his anchor finds himself anchored down by the other man's foot. Midway point, second round. Significant fight for Boza Edwards. Oh. Great. Boza does have a verbal commitment to be the winner of the Livingstone Bramble. Livingstone Bramble Tyrone Crowley uh, title bout. Montez has put in some really hard shots. Good right hand and then a digging body left. Montez means business this second round. Bows are missing with that. Very hard artillery, but missing. Hey, come push him, Bows. Yeah. Montez boxing him beautifully, boxing Bows are beautifully, making him miss, and then coming in with very hard punches. Ooh. Get him up. Oh, blow. Okay. You ready? Uh, uh, Edwards. Go. Earlier, Montez was asked about facing a southpaw. He said no problem. And he hasn't had any problem these uh, first two rounds. He's having no problems the second round. For sure. Your feet. Your feet keep getting tangled up. Don't be surprised to see one fall. It's just the natural sequelae of a left-hander. This beautiful southern mansion is home to the world-class cuisine of Anthony's in Atlanta. Tonight, we're secretly replacing Anthony's regular coffee with dark, sparkling, decaffeinated Folgers crystals. Will it be rich enough for our special guests? It has a very good flavor to it. Rich. It's decaffeinated Folgers crystals. This is instant coffee. I'm serious. That's yeah, amazing. Really, really I'm really it's amazed because nice. it is delicious. Decaffeinated Folgers crystals. Coffee rich enough to be served in America's finest restaurant. Feel the lather, the sand is brisk. No one does it quite like this. Coach works as hard as you. Coach works as hard as you. Picks you up. Keep it clean. Keep it clean.
between them. Huge on. And out for round three, Cornelius Bosa Edwards to meet up with John Montez. Bosa's last fight. Back in April in London, he stopped Melvin Paul in the second round. Won his last five, all five by knockout. Where he did from that second round. Boxing beautifully, good defense, but punching punches on Bozo. Hey, there you go, John. Straight, no punch, break. And Montez continues to find the angles. And he's punching three, four punches to one. Those are having a hard time connecting. But it has been a typical Cornelius Bosa Edwards fight. He hits and he gets hit. Well, in this case, he gets hit, gets hit, gets hit, and then hits. He's getting three or four to one here, Montez is. Bosa chasing and looking to land the harder punches. Under a minute to go. This may third round. Marv Albert of the Fight Doctor. Bernie Pacheco from Tampa, Florida. We are live on. NBC Sports World. And here comes Bosa back. And they are banging each other. Just getting that into a brawl. Bosa just waiting to land that one big punch that'll turn around around for him. Second part was Boza. Who do you give it to? Final seconds. Round three. Who says you can't have it all? Who says you can't work overtime and take the time to enjoy it all? Who says you can't have super premium taste and a less filling beer? your money, son. But if you want my advice, buy another Subaru. It's been good to us. Sure, Dad. I thought we agreed you'd buy a Subaru. But, Dad, I did. The new Subaru XT Coupe. Inexpensive and built to stay that way. Montez, sixth ranked lightweight by the WBC. And Cornelius Bosa Edwards in round number four. What does the fight doctor scorecard tell us? Dead even. I have after three fights, one round for Bosa, one round for Montez, and one round even. And you can guess that that was the last round. Quite unofficially, of course, and while this is almost the adopted city of Boza Edwards outside of Vegas, this crowd is all for Boza. This has been an interesting and evenly matched fight up to now. This crowd all for Boza, except we know for sure for Mrs. Montez. There is Joanne Montez, made the trip from uh, Los Angeles. Her husband is from a family of boxers. Grandfathers on both sides of the family box as did his father, who was in his corner. His brother Herman is a welterweight. Randy, Randy. 
Bose at this point looks like an overwhelming force and that he's chasing Montez. Montez giving ground, hoping to outbox and to slip in those beautiful combinations he did in the first two rounds. But Boza looks sort of overwhelming right now in that he keeps coming forth and his punches look more solid and more hurtful. They were telling Montez in the corner, don't worry, you will get your second win. Does that indicate he's tired in the third round? It certainly does. And if that's the case, bad news because Boza goes like this all ten. Coming up on a minute to go in round four. was Montez doing most of the punching the first couple of rounds. And now Boza, as you saw, just turned Montez around in command here in round four. Watch the race, watch the race, watch the race, folks. It's very early in the fight, round four, and it does look like Montez lost that zip that he had in those punches in the first two rounds. Watch the push, Boza. Don't push it, Boza. That's the referee, Max Parker, telling Boza Edwards to stop the pushing. And that is it for the fourth round. We'll be right back. Barbecuing used to be hard work. Bothering with the electric starter, messing with lighter fluid. It was inconvenient. But Matchlight Instant Lighting Charcoal can change all that because Matchlight lights with just a match. You don't need a single drop of lighter fluid. So with Matchlight, instead of having to work hard, you hardly have to work. What could be more convenient? Soon, this place will be jumping. People will stuff themselves with hot dogs and hot tacos. And that can give them heartburn. Boy, if I were home, I'd take some Pepto. Oh, you could still take Pepto. Portable Pepto. When heartburn or upset stomach hits, fight back with Pepto-Bismol. The soothing effectiveness that's in Pepto-Bismol liquid is also in Pepto-Bismol tablets. When you need relief, don't forget portable Pepto tablets. Now, who says you can't take it with you? And this is round five. John Montez in the blue. Cornelius Bosa Edwards in the white. Bosa at 43 and 5, 34 by knockout. Montez 29 and 2, 22 by KO. His two losses to Hilder Kenty, and then he was knocked out of the first round by Hector Camacho. John's come out winging. Montez is winging at the beginning of this round like he was in the first two rounds. Apparently he's rested a little bit, although he took a lot of punishment from Boza Edwards, who chased him all over the ring in the last two rounds. That was a, a push as uh, the referee Max Parker Jr. punishes uh, Boza Edwards. Watch your hands in there, okay? Go back on, John. Go back here, John. Just over one minute gone by. Round five. Is that punch right, Johnny? Two weeks from today, it'll be Mike McCallum defending his WBA junior middleweight title against David Braxton. That'll be right here on NBC Sports World. McCallum 24-0, 21 by KO, and Braxton 34-1. That'll be two weeks from today on Sports World.
than a minute to go in this fifth round. Both men choosing to work in the trenches in a workmanlike fashion. They just chose to go toe to toe, blow to blow. Carmakers spent a record one billion dollars in advertising just to tell you how wonderful their cars are. Fortunately, there's a more objective opinion, car owners. According to a recent survey of all cars in America, import or domestic, Subaru ranks second only to Mercedes in customer satisfaction. And that's the kind of advertising money can't buy. Subaru, inexpensive and built to stay that way. They say the best ones are the hard ones. These you don't break. You try to reach an agreement. And when you do, you head for the mountains. Whoosh. Head for the beer brewed natural as a mountain stream. For a taste as smooth as its name. Whoosh. Head for Bush beer. Head for the mountains. a man with a pretty fair punch, John the Beast Mugabe, a very close friend of fellow Ugandan Cornelius Bosa Edwards. And uh, Mugabe has a date coming up in November with the marvelous one, Marvin Hagler. And that's got to be some kind of a war while it lasts. And not many people think it'll last long one way or the other. Meantime, right up here, Montez has gone right back to work. shy to trade leather. There's no finesse. There's no guile here. That's just head to head. Montez complaining a little bit about getting butted in the head. Boza with his foot right on top of that blue slipper of Montez anchoring him to the canvas. John Montez began his professional career in October of 1979 opening with a second round knockout. He has been a king Puncher, 29 and 2, 22 by knockout. His last fight was a uh, fourth round conclusion. Little backhand move by Montez. He's getting a little tired uh, of this incessant punching, and it doesn't look like it bothers Boza at all. Boza looks like he could go like this another 10 rounds. Oh, low blow by Montez, another low blow by Montez. Corneas Boza Edwards won the WBC Junior Lightweight title from Bazooka Lamon back in 1981. And that was a terrific fight out for Lamon. That successfully defended against Kaki Chacon with a memorable 13th round KO in August of 81. Lost the title to Ronaldo Navarrete. And after two tough close defeats in 83, the loss to Chacon and the loss to Rocky Lockridge Bosa moved up to lightweight, and he's won his last five. Montez shaken by those last two hard punches of Bosa Edwards. What a trade-off. And Montez put down. You see time on the sixth round. Come on, you got to get me now. You got to go all out. Give it all you got. 
God, John. He Come can't on. beat you, Sonny. He Keep can't them beat hands you up. Keep them hands up. Give it all you got on the inside. That's where you're going to get them, John. Come on, amigo. That's nothing. Come on back. Stay in the inside. Stay in the inside. Work that right. Right. Look at the knockdown. Actually, the right chopping right Stop hand prior on, to this on, was the one that hurt there, Montez. Yes, they money. traded off Under punches, and the uh, bows are connected so solidly that you can see all the way down his boot to the top. Uh, Montez shook, and then, of course, that pinpoint accuracy of Boza knocked him down. Cornelius Boza Edwards relaxes on his stool. Montez have been standing up for about 10 seconds. So Boza getting the maximum of the rest period. This is round seven. Well, well, no shortage of guts in John Montez. He came up off the canvas fighting, sort of to establish his position again. He's opened this round fighting. He certainly has that going into a defensive shell. And Boza, consummate professional he is, is just waiting his time and waiting to get back into that tip for tat exchange in which he hopes to nail John Montez. John, watch ahead, John. You can hear the referee, Max Parker Jr., yelling at Montez, watch the head. Montez really got some pretty good combinations do it, do it, do it. on head and body, head and body. His pride is stung. He knows he needs this victory badly. this tough guy after aftershave skin conditioner i know i thought i was the only guy with sensitive skin every time i shave i get it right here what do you fellas use because shaving irritates my whole face after try it looks different oh, it's rich it's a lotion after soothes razor scrapes sensitive skin hey this feels great and smells good too terrific sensible care for sensitive skin after aftershave skin conditioner by menon Powerful new financial help is coming. The Rock, the Prudential, is now more than insurance. It's mutual funds, IRAs, stocks and bonds, new products and new ideas, as well as new forms of insurance. It's rock-solid financial help for us all. The Rock, the Prudential. It's strong, it's on the move, it's bigger than life. Close. Here's Cornelius Boza Edwards out for round eight. John Montez in the blue, Boza Edwards in the white. It has 
been a slugfest. Boy, Montez continues to surprise. He comes out just fresh after those beatings he takes toward the end of the round, and he punches beautifully. Past Wednesday. Now Montez went down in the sixth round. He looked to be on the verge of heading to the canvas in the seventh. After he had the better of the uh, first couple of rounds. We've seen Cornelius Bose Edwards through the years in big battles. Because he just wants to go down and takes his punishment. Montez is really Round and still Cornelius comes back. Watch the form, John. No punches. Roundhouse attacks by Montez, and then he paused as if to say, Let's take a timeout. And gave a big sigh. Watch your feet. Took in a lot of air and said, Whoa. Continues to connect with the uppercut. He's found Taylor in that uppercut. And Montez continues to bend down and oblige him. beginning to show the war and wear and tear of these hundreds of punches that Bose is raining down. Bose, on the other hand, has been receiving an equal amount of punishment and shows nothing. your money, son. But if you want my advice, buy another Subaru. It's been good to us. Sure, Dad. I thought we agreed you'd buy a Subaru. But, Dad, I did. The new Subaru XT Coupe. Inexpensive and built to stay that way. you want for hair on the go. Bird adds a drop of instant action conditioning, so all you do is wash and go. Wash and go hair looks good on you. Sixth round appears to have gone in the seventh. Montez coming back strong in round eight. Lost him in the eighth because he took the eighth round to John Montez. You know what? Bringing it up to 78-75 on Mike's scorecard quite unofficially. It seems as if Bozo was on the way to a knockout, but John has found some kind of spirit and courage and come punching back and took the eighth round. Second-year pro out of San Jose State taking the uh, Anheuser-Busch Golf Classic and sudden death overtime over John Mahaffey. And a good action fight. 
Now's the time for a Honda portable generator. Hi. Honda. Power. Anytime. Anywhere. Would you like some more coffee? I'd love some. But don't you think it's a little bright in here? Hey, Pete. Going to town with us? Ah, go on ahead. Thought you had a little trouble. Ah, oh, we can take care of it. A day off is something real special. But so's a good neighbor. With this Pete. Push. Head for the beer brewed natural as a mountain stream for a taste as smooth as its name. Push. Head for Bush beer. For the mountains. Tampa, final round from Tampa. John Fontes, Cornelius, Bozo Edwards. A strong start by Fontes. He was put down in the sixth round by Bozo Edwards. Bosa had Montez in trouble in the seventh, and Montez able to rally. What is your score for that? I've got Cornelius Bosa Edwards, 88, Montez, 84. Remember, there was a 10-8 round in there, and there was an even round. Watch your shoulders, watch your shoulders. John Montez been doing well. well it's all right, you're right. Okay, come on, keep it up, all right? Let's go. Scoring is on the 10-point plus system. It's handled by the two judges. That's what you need to be a Watch good player. Watch your hands. Jose Edwards ranked number five among lightweights by the WBC. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. Watch your hands, says the referee. Montez going in head first. And getting hammered by uppercuts while he's doing it. Break, give him a break, give him a break, give him a break. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. But he's aggressive. He's taking it around. He's punching punch for punch with Bose Edwards. Watch the punch, Jack. Slashing right hands attempted by Montez. Bring that fist back, Johnny Cole. I'm for a minute to go in this final round. Bose are working his way out of his corner beautifully, giving him angles, shooting shots from all.
watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Let's go. Let's go. Before any other St. Louis television station offers you one minute of news. Look out there. Oh, well, looks pretty nice for today, actually. We can... One second of news. Morning, I'm Deanne Lane. Here's what's happening. St. Louis police have one minute. Channel 5 gives you a full half hour of news. I'm Jennifer Blum. Thanks for joining us today. It is 82 degrees in St. Louis. I'm... Throughout the day, Channel 5 updates the latest news every half hour. Here I'm Dick Ford. St. Louis firefighters responded to a fire that broke out about 2.30 this afternoon. Fire second. destroyed over $2 million. We'll have a team report at 5. Hello, honey. How's your day? Continues into the evening with eyewitness news at five on five. Roast is really good. Eyewitness news at six. For dessert, dear. And eyewitness news update at ten. Good night and thank you for joining us. With more and better news than any other station. Good night, dear. Good night. We can't wait to show you, St. Louis. Hello, I'm Dick Ford. If you'll show me a school built by early St. Louis settlers, we'll show you a best-kept secret. The Lake School on Curdeville Drive, built by the French in 1897, houses old books, double desks, a pot-bellied stove, and a 45-star flag. Restored by the Creve Coeur Chesterfield Historical Committees, the societies often give guided tours here. Historical societies often unveil best-kept secrets, and at Channel 5, we'll show you. in Tampa, we are awaiting the decision. A good bout. Cornelius Boza Edwards, John Montez going the distance. Montez coming in at 29 and 2. And the veteran Boza Edwards at 43 and 5. Montez came out firing, got off to that good start, but was put down in round six. And that appeared to be on the verge of going down in uh, the seventh round, but uh, Boza Edwards could not apply the uh, finishing touch. This is back in round number six. If you were with us, you recall a chopping right hand set this up. It weakened Montez, and here's Montez going down. Referee Max Parker Jr. guiding Boza Edwards aside. And that's the only knockdown of the fight that Montez came back strongly. And the final rounds. Now we're set for the decision, so let's go to the ring announcer. Here's M. Mark Biro. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. <laughs> Judge Daryl Brown scores the bout 96-95. Judge Pete Valiente scores it 97-95. Referee Max Parker Jr. scores it 99-93. All to the winner, Cornelius Boza Edwards. Boza Edwards. A unanimous decision for Cornelius Boza Edwards. And a hand for John Montez as he prepares to leave the ring and you saw the record 44 and 5 for Boza Edwards who is alongside the fight doctor Boza did you think it was going to be that tough well yeah as far as Monte is concerned he's got something to prove to the world he's only a young fighter and he wants to be he figured that if, if he gets beat by Boza Edwards that would be the end of his road and he tried with his heart I give him credit you know there was one time and I had him on the deck but he came back, he was winging, and he was trying his hurt. All right, now, Mickey Duff, as the manager, you have his career moves in mind. Now, why can't Boz Edwards get a title shot? I have a verbal commitment from top rank, Bob Arum, representing top rank, that Boz Edwards will meet Tyron Crawley if he beats uh, Bramble. I have a verbal agreement with Dan Duva that he will give Boz a title shot if Bramble's the winner. I'm confident we'll get a title fight. So one way or another, Boz Edwards will see you in a title fight in the next few months if everything goes good. And now, back to Marv Albert at ringside. Thank you, Ferdy. The Cornelius Boza Edwards comeback continues 
doing it as a lightweight. And from Tampa, this is Marv Albert with Ferdy Pacheco saying so long and thank you for tuning in.